Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Guys, we needed some good content, and we got it. EA delivered yesterday with future stars, the cards and packs, the SBCs, the objectives. This promo really started off with a bang. I didn't even say the evolutions. That might be the most exciting part about this promo right now. We got to break it all down today and how it could continue. The hype content and the hype of this promo could continue with more content coming today tomorrow including SBCs, more evos we are guaranteed more evos based off that pack code that we saw and after what we saw yesterday we want to see more and how is all this impacting the market i actually think it might continue to impact the market in a negative way that's what i want to talk about today maybe we need to sell a few cards because prices are already starting to go down and they might go down further so we're going to discuss a lot in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel let's go with objectives and go over yesterday's content from a Friday of future stars that once again was just nice. It was surprising because it, it was good. We were happy. We were excited with the content that was released in multiple areas. Let's start with objectives. We love a daily play objective, right guys? It has not been out for a couple weeks. Team of the year, I think it was the last time that we had it. And they've loved these daily play objectives, which you get really good packs for if you stay up to date on this. Just play your normal daily gameplay grind, right? Play some rivals, play some champs, play some qualies, fit in a couple of squad battles games there. Maybe if they drop a cup this weekend, that would help as well. Really easy to get done, and you get some nice packs out of this. So, as always, do the daily play. Even the daily packs that you get, an 81 double, a premium gold players pack, another 81 double, and an 84 plus. Really, really solid, even if you just got to play a couple games of squad battles to get that done. That is a W. Free fodder, right? We take it. We also had a Future Stars objective player yesterday with Magasa. I have to say, guys... This might be the worst card that was dropped yesterday, and it's not even that terrible just for the power curve. You look at those stats, and you're like, hmm, not that great. But I think it's because he can also play center back. This might be one that, as you can see, I've already got a lot of it almost done just from playing a few foot champs games. Um, might be able to finish the rest of this off in squad battles, and maybe it's a card you just keep into the club, and maybe it's... Uh, evolvable in the future with bruiser plus play style only one play style plus six foot two can play center back definitely need some more upgrades so that's maybe when you stock in the club not super crazy but at least something there now one that you maybe missed is a milestones objective kind of like those centurions objectives we had way back when it is an objective that you kind of just work towards over time where you score in certain number of games you work it all the way up in increments of 10 games per time and you get to scoring in 200 separate matches you get some decent packs along the way, and at the very end, you get an 84 times 5. So that's one that you probably, I mean, it's out for 111 days. That's going to be around for a long time. It's probably one that you just play the game, and you accumulate the rewards over time. But that's nice, right? That is just, again, some free fodder, kind of like the daily play objective. It's just stuff that you can gradually get and help your club out now let's go to SBCs. this is the big one right this is the big SBC that dropped yesterday and arguably one of the top two pieces of content that was dropped yesterday as well claudia pina guys it's the price and just the state of this card all together that makes this SBC absolutely incredible now let's talk about the price first 200,000 coins, just shy of 200k for this Claudia Pina card with the Liga F Barcelona link. So links to the men's Barcelona cards as well. And then you look at the actual card itself, four star, five star with incisive pass and the finesse shot. This is an incredible card. Really, really good. I know you're like, Nate, she's five foot five and she has 74 physical, 71 strength. She's not going to be able to like be physical against anybody else on the pitch. She's going to get bodied off the ball. That's fine. She can out dribble anybody on this game. I played against this card yesterday um, in foot champs and I got cooked. Four goals scored on me, multiple finesse shots, the incisive passes, the passing in general in this card is so good because not only does she have incisive pass, she has tiki taka and pinged pass as well. And then to top it all off, she's five foot five with 91 balance, 92 reactions, and 89 agility with the technical play style as well. And it's only 200,000 coins for those links for a double play style plus card. Guys, this is one of the first double play style plus cards that fits in a lot of teams because of the Barca links and is a really great price. That is why this SBC is 2,500 upvotes to 233 downvotes. And the SBC is 87% upvoted. This is a card you're gonna see in a lot of different places because the price is great. And the card itself is really, really 
awesome. It's actually making other center attacking mids on the market drop a lot. That was a theme that was uh, happening yesterday on this game. The Evos and the SBCs making cards drop. Phil Foden is an example I have off the top of the head here. Uh, his team of the group stage card, I think, was like 140,000 coins. And now he's like 100K. Yeah, 100,000 coins for this card. Dropped down a ton in value just because of how good that Claudia Pena is. And a lot of people are just putting her into their teams to play as a center attack in mid. That is almost a must craft SBC, in my opinion, on this game. We also have a daily future stars challenge for a tradable premium gold players pack. Never going to turn that down. Tradable option at packing a future stars. And the 83 plus team league player pick is back and released as it is almost every Friday. Now, let's get to the other, the second piece of really big content that happened yesterday. Now, first to find this, you would go to your store, right? Because in the store, you would get the pack that you would open with all the future star academy attackers and before i delve into this too much let me exactly explain how this works because it can get a little bit confusing to some people right how do you get these cards how do you get these cards right here right the future stars academy pack with the nine players in it all you got to do is go to the store right ea gave out the pack to everybody you go to the store you open it up everybody gets the same nine players and then you go and put one of those or two of those technically because you we each get two of the future star academy attackers evolutions and you get to choose two put them each into their own evolution upgrade them and they become really really boosted cards with two play style pluses now there's some positives and there's only a few negatives to this but there are a few and i'm going to talk it through there's only nine cards you can do this with that's one of the negatives we'll start with the negative stuff first right um it's like kind of it kind of makes you feel trapped and put in a box a little bit because it's only giving you a few options to evolve. But the options that you give, that they give you, I feel like are very, very broad, very ranging from MLS, League One. Um, actually, is there League One? I'm not even sure if there's League One. There's not. There's Serie A. There's Eredivisie. There is the Bundesliga. There's the Prem, La Liga. There's a lot of great options for meta cards and maybe cards that you're just a favorite fan of the nation, favorite of, uh, of the club, of the league, whatever it is. All of these or any of these can be really, really good. Now, there's a couple that are favorites amongst most, but the whole idea is you pick one or two, um, however many, you could just do one or you could do two. I would do two, right? These cards look cracked. You put them into the Evo, it's free, and then you take them through. It does require, require a decent amount of games. Six squad battles for level one, five squad battles for level two, and also some rivals, and then 10 squad battles and then three more rivals or champs for level three. But you get two playstyle pluses. You get the power header and you get the acrobatic, which for some people would say, Nate, that's not really the best playstyle pluses for a lot of these cards. And I don't disagree. For this Athenia card, right, if you had, I don't know, let's say like first touch plus and technical plus, it might be more meta. But I think the whole idea of this is to get a double playstyle player through evolutions and for it to be a future star-esque type of thing. All these players are under the age of 23, and it goes along with the hype of the promo. And guys, I mean, the cards that you get out of this. Okafor is the one that I've started so far. Like, look at the state of this card. Five-star, four-star, high, medium. And the reason I picked Okafor is because he's the tallest out of this entire group. Power header and acrobatic plus makes sense to have a tall player for heading capabilities and maybe a bicycle kick on a corner if you're taller you can get up higher he has high jumping as well in his card that's why i picked okafor personally but a lot of people are going after this athenia card athenia ends up being five star five star with 92 dribbling 93 pace 91 shoot an insane card 91 shooting insane insane card actually is it 92 shooting i thought that i saw when you look at the card itself, I thought it had 92 shooting. Let's let's test the evolution right here. Yeah, 92 shooting is what it shows here in game. 93, 92, 85, and 92. Really, really insane card when you look at those stats. The rest of her play styles are very good. And who's going to turn down 5-star, five 5-star five with the Madrid links? That's the most popular card. But do whichever one is most exciting for you. This Brian card looks cracked. Again, you get a skill move boost at the very end as well. This Dina Mbimbe is also a card that might be really good to do as well as a center midfielder because he can play right mid right wing center mid and right wing back he's got i mean some really really crazy stats i know he's only four star three star but um that's a really crazy card for a midfielder on this game uh what are his work rates a medium medium and he is uh six foot tall so kind of just go with what you want to go with here but the fact that it's free and the fact that you can juice these cards so up with a double play style plus 
is really cool. Again, I think the most common complaint out of all of this is the playstyle pluses aren't the best for these specific cards. And I only have nine different cards to choose from, but it's free and the upgrades are really, really awesome. So that is so cool for me. Yeah, GG's, honestly. And if you think that people are in aren't interested in it, then I mean, the market tells the story. They are, guys. Take a look at Diani. Diani, a team of your honorable mentions card, is just one example. Since especially this Athenia is so hyped, but since other right wings in here, like uh, maybe Torres a little bit, um, who else is right wing? There was somebody else that's right. Brian, I can play right mid, right, and left wing. But specifically Athenia, this is one of the most hyped cards. If you look at the popular page on Footbin, it's like Athenia is almost always near the top. She's one of the most hyped cards for this. And it's making right wings drop. Take a look at this, the Yanni from 564k down to 474,000 coins. A big drop there. Other attackers and right wings across the game are just down bad in value because of that evolution being as good as it is. Take a look at Olga. Olga Karamona went up 30,000 coins yesterday. This is directly because of Athenia, guys. There is definitely hype for Athenia. This is a perfect link, of course, to her card. And look how much this item has risen up. 66k to 100,000 coins, specifically because of that card. Now, like I said, I'm doing Okafor. I might not decide right away. It actually might be a smart play because we do have another, at least one more of these Evos coming for defenders, guys. It might be a smart play to leave one open. And I think I'm gonna leave one open here for just a few days. You do have 20 days to unlock it and it's only the certain cards you can put into it. But just imagine if, like, the Defender Evolution comes out and, like, I don't know, maybe since Dina Mbimbe has right wing back on his card, maybe somehow he fits that Evolution and that was an oversight by EA. That's just one of the reasons where maybe I would keep it open just for the next couple of days to see what happens unless you want to get one of these cards and get working on it right away. But the stat boosts there are insane and there's more Evos to come, which we will talk about. But we talked about that enough. Let's talk about the cards that are in packs. Future Stars, Team number one yes guys this is a two week promo and this is team number one if you were looking forward to cold palmer he is not in team one unfortunately but this is the team of players and as we were seeing when they were first dropped yesterday i think we wish that the upgrades were a little bit bigger harvey elliott he could be upgraded a bit more arda guler he could be upgraded a bit more as well i mean same thing with even garnacho i know that garnacho is 3.7 million very expensive but i think he could have been upgraded a little bit more but all in all this promo team is solid it really is solid and what is really solid is guys the pack weight i know that you're looking at some of these prices and you're like nate how can you sit here and say that the pack weight is good when garnacho is 3.7 million coins and boniface is 500k and uh balde is a million coins don't get me wrong there are 100 some overpriced cards in this team but from the 400k pack which is an 84 times 25 which also guarantees five cards 87 or above a pretty typical 400k pack right for this game 73 percent chance of packing a team uh sorry i almost said team of the week or team of the year i mean man i'm tired of talking about team of the year pack odds this is way better future stars player 73 percent chance that is wild okay now of course when you look at the team you don't have a great chance of packing lauren james garnacho balde doku right and it's a lot of the fodder cards i've seen people pack for sure but the fact that there's a 73% chance, and with all the prices that we see, Arda Guler, 150k, Elliot, 120,000 coins, with the prices where they are and seeing the supply on the market, it guys, it feels like a promo where you actually have the potential to see the promo card flare and to pack some cards. I cannot wait for 80 plus, 81 plus, whatever they drop this week for upgrades, please be player picks. I cannot wait for those, okay? Because this could be really really good and a lot of fun especially if we're able to save player picks for team two of future stars with the pack weight hopefully being similar to team one it is refreshing guys okay i didn't even pack one yesterday and i opened some decent packs i didn't even pack one but just seeing the prices of these cards makes me know for sure that i have a chance it actually feels like you have a chance to pack a new card and then you have the opportunity to go and try it out so that's the hype with this and i think that's really cool and that's not even mentioning the icons right we had the icons that were dropped yesterday as well and of course there are three extinct icons right now not to mention in the main team of future stars as well we do have an extinct trinity rodman card um, which she was extinct at 950 they upped her price range to 1.4 million coins and she is still extinct i mean 
I do think that some of these cards that are extinct will come back down and be unextinct, if you will. They'll be back on the market today, even without a price range update. Rooney was on the market before, but Ronaldinho and Maldini both did not see the market yet. Maldini's crazy. Quick step plus on a center back. I mean, they kind of modeled these icons after their baby icon versions from a couple years back in FIFA. That's kind of the whole point of it, right? It's like, it's like these are the icon cards of the icons before they were stars. It's kind of like their baby versions of icons, I guess, is what they're trying to refer it to. And actually, guys, if you're having trouble finding them on the market, it's very annoying that EA did this. If I want to search up Petite, I, I can't click on the 87 rated Petite. What I have to do is go search Petite, and I have to click on the lower 65 rated version of Petite, and it shows his baby, his old baby icon image. And then you can do quality sort by future stars icon or uh, just search that card right there. And that's how you see the card on the market. You can also search by just the future stars icon with the nation if you want to find somebody like Petite as well. But for some of you guys, I know you were saying like, Nate, how do I search these up? It's very confusing. That's the problem there. EA needs to code that differently. But the icons like this Gerard. Absolutely cracked card here for Steven Gerrard. I mean, a huge pace boost, plus seven pace, plus three shooting, passing, dribbling, physical, and then plus five defense. What a card. Incisive pass and ping pass. What a great card, man. So really big upgrade to the icons. Seedorf is great for the price that he is. Uh, Crespo, Finesse Plus, not terrible for 120K. A card you maybe want to try out. Petit can play center back. Uh, Carlos looks insane. Rooney looks crazy as well. Is extinct at 1.9. I think he'll become unextinct as well. Just because he only has one playstyle plus, but it's the huge pace boost on his card. It's making him very hype. So watch these cards though. I mean, right now, They've been they've been trading really, really good on the market. They've been fluctuating a ton. I traded with a bunch of these yesterday. I bought two Boniface for right around 500,000 coins. Sold the first one at 550. Bought another one. Went out and played eight games with it. Scored 12 goals in eight games. The dude is absolutely insane. I can't tell you a time where I've had more fun in the recent weeks on this game. Picking a new promo card out and trying him in game. Guys, this card is disgusting, okay? The Tiki Taka Plus is so underrated. I love Tiki Taka Plus because I've used it in my attack now for weeks with one of my Evo cards. He is so good. And when I tell you a power shot that is so powerful, it just feels like you can't even see the ball traveling through midair. This guy's got it. 99 shot power with the power shot. Even just regular green time shots are insane with this card. He's got 99 strength, jumping, and heading. He wins everything slam dunk at the back post for headers. This card's amazing, man. I hope I can pack him. Uh, I bought another one because I want to go play with him in foot champs. And I think he's actually going up a little bit into today on Saturday. I just bought it for 460 about an hour ago. Looks like he's 520 right now. So we're making some good coins there. But these cards fluctuate really, really good um, because there's a lot of hype for them. There always is with future stars. They're always great to trade with. But I will tell you, since some of the middle tier and the lower tier are supplied a lot, I'm looking at Arda Guler. I'm looking at Harvey Elliott. Maybe Boniface a little bit. Lukiba a little bit as well. He's kind of rare. But especially Guler and Elliot, which are probably two of the most popular cards that people want to try out. Those cards, guys, got supplied so much yesterday. I know they look really, really cheap the way that they are right now. But I think they are going to end up going a little bit lower today just because there's so much supply. We're going to get more lightning rounds today. More weekly rewards are going to be opened up. So if you want to try one of these guys out, I think they'll do okay early into the Saturday hours, right? There's so many people that want to get uh, up today, get on, and try these cards. I think it can make their prices improve a little bit, and they could even rise a little bit. But I think once we get close to content, they're going to drop back down because uh, people are going to sell these cards because they know they're supplied and they're going to get packed. And that means that they're going to drop a little bit. So keep a close eye out for those. And especially the top tier. Like, yeah, Doku. I don't know why Doku. Actually, Doku is crazy. But this is the card that's the craziest to me. Balde. This card is a simple... What is he? He's a plus... He's not even that big of an upgrade. I mean, he's got a nice physical upgrade over his Winter Wild Cards item. But this card being 1.0 seven is disgusting this should be 500k 600k i know it's a cracked card but like no like this is way too much man maybe maybe 750k max like but this card being a million coins seems really really crazy to me so watch for some of those to come back down in value today and just be careful with the ones that are very very supplied so again that has to do with the pack weight being better though which we're a fan of and we like that. Now, since the pack weight is better and since some of these new cards like Harvey Elliott um, and Goulart are very packable, even Lauren James. I mean, I guess this is just another quick review of the transfer list. 
The last trade I had yesterday was I picked up two Lauren James for 1.25 mil on snipes, sold them for 1.35 each, rounded off a really, really good trading yes, uh, day yesterday for sure. But when I look at the rest of the market, a lot of prices are dipping. And kind of what we're experiencing is, like we saw with that Diani, like we saw with the Phil Foden that we looked at in this video as well, it's a little bit of like a market correction, I guess you would call it, guys. Take a look at the index icons yesterday, before and after the content drop. The index icons went from 61,000 coins down to 58K. I feel like this is how a lot of the meta market in terms of middle, middle to lower tier cards worked yesterday, where these new cards came out cards that were free or almost free with the evolutions that we had and then even the SBC for Claudia Pina that part of content actually created some sell-off on the market and you're seeing prices not just on icons I'm using icons as an example but if I look through the rest of the market some road to the finals some more team of the year honorable mentions I'm seeing a lot of cards that are down in value like this Musiala this Fede Valverde is down almost a hundred thousand coins Musiala as you can see yesterday too went from 350 all the way down to 289, back up to about 300,000 coins where he is now. A lot of the market, a lot of it, guys, really took a hit yesterday in prices because people were selling cards to go use the new, the best stuff that was released. This Richarlison was like 40K, now he's 30,000 coins. This Kingsley Coman was 330K, and now he's 282. I'm looking at a lot of cards around the market right now that really were maybe a little bit too expensive because the content was not that good, and there weren't new and greater cards that were being released that people were super excited to try out um, as brand new cards. Wow, Firmino, 220, that is definitely down. But especially since a lot of these cards have two playstyle plus, and the pack weight's pretty good, and they're affordable, especially for Elliot Guler. Uh, Lukiba is looking like a cracked card, even for like 20k. Pablo Barrios looks pretty sick with press proven. Why not give that card a try, right? Or Bisek for 17k, he looks like an absolutely cracked center back. I think it's that that is making the market correct a little bit in price. And since that's not changing, right, those cards are not going to magically fly in value today. I really do believe that. It could continue to hurt the market a little bit this weekend, and for the next day or so, you could still see some of those out-of-packs cards continue to just kind of slide down in price a little bit. I don't think it's going to be too drastic. I'm not saying you got to panic sell Team of the Year cards, but, I mean, Team of the Year cards actually did drop a little bit yesterday, too. If we take a look at a couple of those graphs and a couple of those prices... I do believe that especially some of the middle to lower tier ones like, yeah, Millie Bright, 781, Oberdorf is 835. Not a lot of the team, but some of the team is down just a little. Like Sam Kerr, 1.75. That's down just a little. And I think that's kind of what I've been speaking about on the last couple of days about Team of the Year cards. As we get more and more double playstyle plus items that get dropped in this game, I just think that these cards are going to slowly but surely just kind of meander their way down in price with a couple of, you know, dips here or there that'll be a little more extreme. That's why I'm saying if you have a Team of the Year card in your, in your club, I think it's fine. Especially if you bought it at a really, really low point. But I mean, like, look, two days ago, wasn't Rodri like 3.1 mil? And right now he's, you know, at this moment, at least 2.99, right around 3 million coins. So not a really big price difference yesterday, but just down a tiny bit. And I think it's just because new cards are out with double play styles, some of them being really expensive. And people always want to try the new, the improved, the exciting stuff, right? That's the whole point of Ultimate Team. Continue to upgrade, continue to change, have fun, try new players, and all that sort of thing. And I think that's going to continue to kind of impact the market over the next day or so. It's not a, a market crash by any stretch of the imagination. It's just a little bit more of a market correction where prices maybe were just a little bit too high on some cards for where we are headed in the game right now. But then on the flip side of things, like we talked about with the links to Athenia, you've got other cards in the market right now that are booming like crazy because like Olga, or maybe some of the Barca links as well, you've got those links to cars that are really going up a lot in value. Or like somebody who I traded with yesterday was Doku Winter Wild Cards because people who wanted to use Doku saw that his new card was so expensive. It was it, This one was bound to go up. I bought Doku yesterday for 260 sold it for 290 He's now even 300,000 coins. The same thing happened with Balde. Balde links, uh, the new cards that were released. This card is a, how much? Balde was like 80k yesterday, and now he's 113,000 coins and rising because of the links to Claudio Pina, the links to Athenia as well, being a defender that can play right and left back. So that's a card that's going up a lot in the market. So there's 
a little bit of everything, right? Especially some of those Barca links, men and women side of things are going up on the market. Uh, so the market feels very strong. It also feels like people are reacting to the new content in a really good way. And that shows, I think, good signs for this game. And also with the content being what it was yesterday, I think it shows good signs for content this weekend as well. Let's wrap up today's video talking about what could be happening today on this game, market-wise, content-wise, pack-wise, all that sort of thing. Let's talk about those Evos first, right? Those ever exciting evos that we know there's more coming for right because we had the attackers pack and the defenders pack and the 11 defensive options pack for a future stars academy defenders evo is also probably going to come very soon now i have to imagine guys i don't think it'll be today i would be surprised if it's today because you would think if you're ea you just got people really excited with the attacker side of things, you probably want to wait a day or two or at least a couple days, right, before dropping the Defenders one as well. This might be next Friday. It could be tomorrow on Sunday. I'm not entirely sure when that um, Academy Defenders pack and then the Evos are going to be released, but I would have to say probably at least a day or two from now. But that is something, since we know how it works, we can kind of imagine how that one's going to work too and what Defenders are going to be released, who's going to be in that evolution, and what is going to be the most meta one and you've seen we've seen how that impacted prices for again links to athenia how is that going to impact prices for maybe some of the defenders that come out as well like if they put a one of the if they put like olga probably not her because she just had this card but if they put another spanish real madrid left back or right back inside of the promo team maybe a card like this olga drops down a little bit right maybe a time where you think about safely selling that card when you're in this big profit range that you are. That's just the kind of thing you have to think about a little bit ahead of time with what could be coming with this Evo. So again, no date on that, but it's possible. And then SBC players, Saturdays are almost always SBC player days, and we have two official leaks still right now. Shevchenko is coming as a Future Stars icon, and I do believe that it was leaked by FIFA Romania that he was going to be our SBC. So a Shevchenko SBC, I mean, Man, if they boost him at all like they did Crespo, this could be a really nice card. If he gets a double playstyle plus, that could be pretty hyped as well. So I think he's going to be an SBC, as well as Pedro Neto is also leaked as an SBC from FIFA Romania. So I think those are the two SBC leaked players that we have right now on this game. We'll be closely watching for this or for Shevchenko today. Because again, if they're going to do another SBC like they did for Claudia Pina, that Pedro Neto could hurt once again some attacker prices on this game. Not saying it's going to be as good a value as Pina, but you never know because Pina was pretty cracked. So that's something I watch out for today as well. Um, maybe a cup today as well. I feel like this would be a great promo for a Future Stars Cup. A bunch of the store packs have Future Stars um, player picks in them, and Future Stars are really cheap. So I could see them requiring you to use one in a cup and either coming out today or tomorrow there could be a mini release of cards as well we'll have to watch out for that that could be today or tomorrow and then guys we do have an sbc refreshing today that is the icon sbc if you did the 87 plus it is refreshing i do believe today the last day it's going to be out so you can do this once ahead and if you once again and if you do want to mess around with fodder a little bit i do want to talk about fodder to end the video because my goodness the supply yesterday was hitting and fodder is down bad. 88s are 22 to 23,000 coins. I think they're up slightly. I think they were down at 22K, all of them yesterday. From 29K all the way down to 22, 23K for these 88s. If you want to send it on fodder, I know that a player pick for an icon, this is the same one that we've had multiple times that people have already done. Is it really going to have hype today? I feel like it has more hype on the weekends than anything else just because people have weekend league rewards. They have more coins for maybe opening some packs. So they want to go ahead and do it. I think there's a chance this could move some 88s, 87s today. Um, but I would really focus on, I think, the 87s and the 88s to, to move. Maybe the 86s a little bit as well. And maybe even the 85s, right? Anywhere between 85s and 88s, um, depending on what moved last weekend really well when this first came out. Watch out for that because on weekends, people are playing champs. They get some fodder. 8310s were opened. We'll see if that makes the market move a little bit today on this game. I think it's possible. So if you want to invest there, you can. But in terms of store packs, I expect EA to continue running the lightning rounds they ran yesterday. They didn't run the super crazy ones, but they ran good enough ones that it supplied the market a lot. So um, there's also a couple really big store packs that guarantee future stars players. Don't know if we'll start to see one of those yet today. I bet they will wait until whenever they do the mini release. If the mini release comes out today, then I bet we'll see them. 
If it doesn't, then probably tomorrow for those. EA likes to wait until all of the cards are in packs to kind of water down the pack weight on the guaranteed portion of those packs before releasing like a guaranteed future stars pack in the store. But today, guys, I'm just excited to see how the continuation of future star because uh goes because man what a start to the promo yesterday because the pack weight seems up they see these cards seem packable the evo was sick the cards themselves are solid and i mean yeah i'm just excited to see how this goes because it really feels like ea did something nice for us yesterday and i mean ggs it feels nice to have some really good content to be excited for on a friday with cards that are of decent value with good upgrades and uh man especially this boniface in game man i want to get back into games with him because he was so good and yeah that's what i'm excited for today but let me know what in the comments down below what you were excited for the most out of yesterday's content and what evo you might be doing but if you enjoyed today's video drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys in a video tomorrow it's been nathan for the count see you guys there peace